On the way again. Oh my words! always so nice to get out of the city from time to time and here you can smell the nature, the greenery just remind you of playing football outside on the grass when you were a kid we've got the river away down here and somewhere through the trees over there we've got the football stadium which is where we're off to oh well check out this vantage point I'm tempted just to stay up here and save myself a few quid brilliant Hi guys, now I've got a special treat for you today as I've got two new teams and I've got a whole new league. I've made my way to Guadalajara, not the one in Mexico, but the one in Castilla-La Mancha, which is one of the biggest and most sparsely populated autonomous communities in Spain. Now, Guadalajara, the football team, are based, funnily enough, in Guadalajara, which is near the border with the Madrid community. Um, and today they're taking on Coquense in Tercera División, Group 18. That's right, Group 18. Um, both teams are gunning for promotion, so I'm expecting a fairly feisty clash today. Now, Club Deportivo Guadalajara were founded in 1947, and they've spent most of their history in the Tercera División at this level, but the last decade or so has probably been the most interesting period in their history, and it's been a bit of a roller coaster, to be honest. Now, they were taken over by new owners in 2001, they were promoted to the Segunda B for the first time in 2007, and promoted again to the Segunda for the first time in 2011, but they suffered what they called a administrative relegation in 2013 after suffering from financial issues which have been with them ever since uh, there's been a lot of stories about how the players and staff haven't been paid um, and there's a lot of uncertainty as to whether the club will even survive in the future so it's definitely what we want to keep an eye on however they've had a really good season this time around uh, they're in fourth place in the league at the moment uh, they're in the last playoff spot although there are two teams that are pretty close behind them putting pressure on them and they've actually only taken one point from the last nine available so they are stuttering a little bit now today's opponents are Conquense who are from the city of Cuenca which I highly recommend visiting it's an absolutely beautiful place now they've been unstoppable of late they've won nine matches in a row they've won 15 of their last 16 games and that unsurprisingly has seen them shoot to the top of the table they're four points clear at the top of the table and if it hadn't been for a bad start to the season they probably would have had this league wrapped up already I was joking but I'm thinking this guy over here might actually be watching the game over here he's got his wee, uh, his wee goodie bag there his food he's got his headphones on his radio on the go oh cheapskate right now you can tell this is a big game look at the size of the queue so that's it, we're in to the Estadio Pedro Escartín which seemingly holds 8,000 people and I think back in the Segunda days they were getting quite close to that but seemingly recently they've only been averaging about 300 so we'll see how many turn up today for what is a pretty big game Right, and I also mentioned the club's financial problems and they're selling club bracelets to try and raise some money so I got myself one of these bad boys for a couple of euros Right, if you recognise this music, then there's a reason why. We've got exactly the same kind of entrance music as they had at Santa Ana. Unbelievable. Only issue being that the players have failed to appear. So I don't know if they've been attacked backstage, WWE style. I know, here they come now. And their entrance music is somewhat less menacing, I have to say. Oh, another quality anthem though. Does it top colour than ours from last week though? That's the big question. Let me know what you reckon. Five minutes later and it's still going on. Seems to be a recurring theme for some reason. Pretty catchy though. Right, we're off. I'm not quite at capacity, I don't think. Right, if this corner leads to goal, then the Conkensi keeper is going to get absolute pelters from everybody. Oh, redeemed himself there. Not done, pal. Right, defining feature of the early moments definitely has to be the number of wholehearted, shall we say, challenges that have been getting put in. They obviously knew there was a Scottish guy coming today. He's in ball. Somebody's got to get in there. Ooh. 
first half chance of the game. Right, it's 1 0, and apologies for missing that goal, but the defender made an absolute hash of it, and it was not expected at all that we were going to score from that position. So 1 0 to Konkense, who look as if they're on the road to continue in their great form. Yeah, so it's literally just a harmless ball pumped over the top. The defender had about a three yard head start on the attacker, and he kind of just totally misjudged it, dillied and dallied with it, miscontrolled it. Striker uh, pickpocketed them and stuck it in the net. It's 1 0. Immediate claims for a penalty for Guadalajara. And the referee, I think he's given a free kick just on the edge. Right, I'm expecting to see this in the postage stamp. Oh, and he didn't disappoint. Well, it wasn't quite postage stamp. But who cares? Oh, some more ridiculous goalkeeping. Almost let Conquense in for a second. Now it's a Guadalajara break. Ah, oh, poor touch. Oh, you're back in. It's end to end stuff at the minute. Mm, bit tame. What kind of instrument is that they're actually playing? It sounds like kind of a cross between bagpipes and Vuvuzela. Oh well, it was some strike, but I don't know if the keeper is going to be too happy with his participation in that goal. First half of football this is. Old fashioned wing play there. Golden and the full back. Guess that's modern football, isn't it? There we go, 2 2. Oh my word, the drama just continues. Now, if you follow me on Twitter, then you might have seen this week that I was moaning about the fact that there have hardly been any goals in the games I've been to recently. And I don't know if these guys read my tweet, but they've served up an absolute cracker of the first half. That absolutely flew in. 2 2 at half time, probably just about a fair score on the balance of play. Uh, it's been the most enjoyable first half of football I've seen in a long time, actually. Uh, really fast pace, uh, both teams try to play football the right way. Uh, I think Guadalajara have been a bit more direct with their passing, uh, they've been getting through the midfield a bit more easily, and I think their second goal just summed that up. That the, you know, the, the striker managed to get lots of space in front of the Conquense defence to fire that shot in. I'm not sure if the keeper should have saved both of those goals actually, I'll have to look back and see that again. Uh, but I've got a feeling he might not be too happy. Uh, Conquense though, been really patient with their passing, uh, you know, they've never lumped it forward at any point. Uh, they've been happy to get the ball, turn back, play out, uh, start again over the other side. Um, to be fair, I think their most dangerous moments have actually been mistakes from Guadalajara, but you know, they've taken full advantage, so fair to play, fair play to them for that. Um, yeah, let's just hope for more of the same in the second half. Right, they've taken an absolute age to get this free kick right, let's see if it's worth the wait. No, not this time. Mm, good effort, good effort. It's quite a long passage of pass and play from Guadalajara, which is not the first time this has happened in this game from either team. It's really good. And of course, as soon as I say that, sticks it straight out for a throw in. A lovely little slide rail pass. And he coolly took it around the goalkeeper. 3 2. Second half starting as the first half finished. On the way again. Oh my words! Two goals in a minute and a half. Amazing stuff. Conkinse, your long and be a run looks like it might be coming to an end. Oh, and they just keep on coming. 4 3 now. 
and I don't know if it's maybe another goalkeeper mistake. He hesitated as he came out, and the Kokinsa attacker just nipped in in front of him. 4 3. Oh my god, will this ever end? I hope not. There's a slight lull in proceedings, and it just got me thinking about the potential this ground has. You can just imagine it being full, or well, maybe, I don't know if you can imagine it, but having 6,000, 7,000, 8,000 must be in a great lot of ground when it was full. There's quite a few grounds I've been to in the Tercera and indeed Segunda B as well that you have that feeling about. It's a shame. Pass left, there you go, finish. Oh, that could have been it, that could have been it. Time is running out. Yeah, it's just not happening for Conquense. Oh! Keeper got a touch, great save. I think that's by far the closest they've come to an equaliser. Five minutes of injury time. Can there be more drama? Must be offside. enjoyed it as much as I did. Well, if you said to me after the third pumpkin to go went in, that game was going to finish 4-3, I would have thought you were absolutely mental. So, 4-3 home win for Willahara. Uh, they absolutely blitzed Pumpkins at the start of the second half, and that was what won them the game. Uh, pressing higher up the pitch, winning the ball in uh, better positions, and Massa scored two, two quick fire goals, and that did the damage. I think Pumpkins had lots of the ball after, uh, but they didn't really create anything at all. And Guadalajara did really well to shut the game down in the final half an hour. And I think it was they who actually looked a little bit more threatening on the counter attack. They didn't counter all that much, but when they did, they could have scored a couple more goals. So I think you'd have to say it was a deserved home victory. As I said earlier, I did venture out of the Madrid autonomous community, but you can in fact take the commuter train to get to Guadalajara, and it takes about an hour and 10 minutes uh, from the central Madrid stations, and after that, you're about a 15 20 minute walk to the ground and quite a nice walk of that as well. Really hope the quality of the game came across on the video. Thanks a lot for watching, as always. Remember to subscribe to the Team on Tour on YouTube and you can find me on Twitter, on Facebook, and on Instagram as well. See you guys again next week.